Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 on the left with Android 7.0 Nougat versus the Galaxy S7 Edge, which is also updated to Android 7.0 Nougat. So you guys wanting me to do a speed test here between these two phones with the official firmware installed. So uh, first, of course, we're going to boot up both phones at the same time. So going in three, two, one, boom. Wow, the Note 5 going toe to toe with the flagship beast we have S7 Edge right now. And uh, obviously the S7 Edge is, is expected to be faster. Most of the time, of course, it has an Exynos processor, faster one. But as you can see that the Note 5 boots up faster in the booting time, which is pretty rare because the Galaxy S7 slash S7 Edge, they don't lose in boot up test wise, you know, normally they don't lose, but the Note 5 faster there, that is good, that is good sign that the performance uh, could be improved a lot. So uh, first of all, of course, uh, we are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and uh, let's, uh, okay, let me just clear that. Everything is closed up in the background, so I'm just going to quickly start off. Uh, with the first application. So we're going to start off with the basic stuff first. We have phone dialer on both devices. Here we go. As you can see, it's uh, quicker on the S7 Edge. Exynos 7420 versus Exynos 8890. Uh, we also have uh, some more stuff like calculator. So that was about the same. Moving on towards the settings. And that also felt a bit quicker on the Galaxy S7 Edge. So that was a warm up. That was the basic stuff. Moving on towards some third party actions. We got the Subway Surfer first game that we'll be checking it out here. And oops. Let's see. As you can see, the S7 Edge just flies through loading times. It is done. Followed by the Note 5. So about two, three second difference there. And do keep that in mind that Note 5 is now about two years old, so it's still pretty fast, going really, really good. Where you know we're comparing it with the today's modern uh, phones, modern flagship phones. Of course, this one is also about a year old, so it will get replaced in coming days. The Galaxy S8 is coming. So next we have Smash Hit, and okay. Faster on the Galaxy Note 5, that is interesting. Moving on, we have Tinder. Hmm, felt a bit quicker on the S7 Edge. Color switch. Faster on the Galaxy Note 5. Wow, Note 5 is doing some wonders. Gun Futu also felt a bit quicker on the Note 5. So, I mean, Note 5 is right now is in perfect uh, condition. Like it has, it has just got the update. It feels faster. So, I mean, if you're not gonna be buying the Galaxy S8, you can buy this one and wait for the Note 8, which will of course come later down the year. So, wow, I was not expecting that good performance out of Note 5, but uh, let's see, we have uh, another application that is going to be Instagram on both phones, let's see, here we go, and okay, I think the Note uh, Note 5 was a bit slower with the, with the latest feed, I think the S7 Edge was a bit quicker, again, you guys are the judge, moving on, we can launch Twitter. Wow. If I'm not wrong, that was a bit, tiny bit quicker on the Note 5. Again, these devices are really, really close. So lastly, we'll be opening up camera on both devices. 3, 2, 1, boom. As you can see, it is faster on the S7 Edge. So I have to say, in a uh, in few games, we have seen the Note 5, you know, being faster than the S7 Edge. Again, they were really, really close. So uh, the Exynos 7420 is still a beast of a chipset, uh, performing really close in real life performance-wise compared to the Exynos 8890. So moving on to the browser test. 
Okay, so first website will be yahoo.com. Here we go. And uh, let's see which one is going to be faster here. So, okay, a seven edge. Both are at the end. Who is going to be the winner? Okay, Galaxy Note 5 finishes up faster, followed by the Galaxy S7 Edge. Amazing, amazing stuff. You can see scrolling is looking very smooth on both devices. Can't see any lag. Uh, moving on to the next one, which is Amazon.com. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Galaxy Note 5. First one, and it finishes up faster, followed by the Galaxy S7 Edge. Amazing stuff. Wow. And just so you know, both devices are on their stock settings, uh, which means that the screen resolution is on 1080p on both devices. So, uh, yeah, uh, there is. I haven't turned on the performance mode on both phones, so do keep that in mind. Note 5 is actually uh, was faster in most of the stuff, if I'm not wrong. So let's do the most interesting part of the test, which is the RAM measurement, which is the part where Note 5 struggles. So let's see here. Phone dollar kept in the memory. Calculator also in the memory. Settings. Okay, going good, going good. Third party stuff. S7 Edge still there. Note 5 still there. All right, let's see. Got smash hit. Absolutely similar performance, no refresh at all. Seems like Samsung has done the absolute best optimization for the Note 5. Obviously, we, we don't have the Note 7, so that's why Samsung is making this phone the best, you know, if you are a Note user. So, wow, everything is still in the memory, literally. Wow, everything is still in the memory. Literally, there is no closing whatsoever. And then we opened the internet browser. As you can see, wow. Amazing, amazing performance, guys. Uh, obviously, I mean, some people, they, they look at benchmark, but I'm not that much of a benchmark guy. I always, I always do real-life tests on my channel. So this is uh, your Galaxy Note 5 on Android 7.0 Nougat. Uh, almost as fast, if not faster, as fast as the Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, wow, that is that is impressive. That is amazing, and it's all uh, the, the magic of the Android 7.0 Nougat Samsung experience, baby. So uh, I will be doing a comparison with the Note 5 on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So uh, stay tuned for that. I can do a comparison with a with a mid-range phone like a Galaxy A7 because I haven't done the comparison with this one. I can also compare it to the iPhone. Let me know. Let me know if you are excited for all those videos. Give the video a thumbs up. Also tell me about this test here in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.